Hi Dolly friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Holly and today I am unboxing these three lovely ladies. They are the Dream Ella Extra Iconic Mini by MGA and I've actually seen a few videos of these girls just recently. They were on sale on Amazon and what really attracted me to them at first was the wings that they have because <laughs> I'm working on a fairy collab for a Blythe doll uh, with a lot of other YouTubers and I was like hey they have wings and maybe I can use them as a template and they're on sale well it was actually this one I saw first and then I was like hey I'll just get all three of them and I'll do a bo unboxing because they're really tiny and I'm just I've really been interested in tiny dolls lately small little ones but yeah, I guess they're really popular right now. They're kind of MGA's response to the, I don't know, extra mini Barbie, whatever's. <laughs> I can't keep up. There's so many dolls out there, which I love, but there's so many. Anyway, let's rip them open and take a look. Before I completely destroy their boxes, I wanted to show you the artwork on the back because it's really, really pretty. So this one, we have Yasmin or Yasmin, I'm not sure how they want it pronounced. And then we have Aria and then Dream Ella. So she must be like their main character, Dream Ella. Anyway, she's really pretty with the purple hair. And then we have Aria with the pink hair. I love her pink and black, kind of a punk look. So cute. And then there's Yasmin. And I love her hair too. Anytime they do like these curly puff things, totally want it. All right, now I will rip into the boxes and show you the dolls. All right, before I cut them free from their wings, I just wanted to show you kind of how they come packaged. So the wings are cardboard attached to a plastic backing, which I might even use as a template. I know it's silly, like, why would I buy three dolls just for the cardboard wings when I could probably print a free template or find lots of free things? Well, there's a couple reasons. One, these are printed on nice cardstock, which I like. And two, um, I get three dolls out of it. So, I mean, that's a no brainer there, right? Okay, so anyway, they're all the same color scheme, but they have different patterns on them. So like, Yasmin has roller skates and a little tape deck or a cassette tape. And then uh, Aria has game controllers. She's, I guess, a gamer. Woohoo, gamer girl! And then Dream Ella has flowers, beauty, and lightning bolts. So she's electrifying. All right, so. Now I will free them from their back. Or maybe I can just pop, oop, don't wanna rip that. Okay, I'll be back. Here they are out of the box and they are absolutely darling. I love them so much. They're so tiny and they're articulated at the knees, elbows, not at the ankles. Yeah, hips, knees, elbows, shoulders, all of your typical articulation with the addition of knees and elbows. And at this size, that is just so cool. They're a little stiff in the right arm though. Ah! But I know it's articulated, I just have to, oh, there we go. And they all come with their own handbag. Hers is a little longer, so we could almost try to make it crossbody. Let's see if we can get it as a crossbody. Come on, get in there, little arm. Because this looks like a perfect crossbody bag. Not a body bag, but a crossbody bag. <laughs> okay, there. So she's got it as a crossbody messenger style bag. Looking all cute. So we've got the pink poofy hair on Yasmin. Cutest little boots ever on her. And I love her pants. They're like a satiny material. And I love her shirt. I mean, everything about her style is just so cute. Kind of off the shoulder. And then here is Aria with her little, kind of looks like a violin. A violin um, string type design. And definitely kind of interchangeable. This bag is pretty neutral with the other girls. And I love that she's got a little heart on her face and freckles. 
little heart earrings so cute and I absolutely love her chunky boots so she's got such a feminine face and just really sweet and then chunky boots like you know she's sweet but <laughs> don't make her mad oh and then she has a belt okay her belt she has a removable belt I love that okay and then last is dream Ella with purple kind of curly hair and you know there's there's not a ton of product in it there's probably a little bit to keep the curls and I'm not gonna freak out about that I'm fine with it definitely not gonna brush it though that's probably gonna ruin it and then she has little like heart cheeks which I think is really really sweet um, initially I wasn't like like I said she wasn't really on my list but then I saw someone else unbox her and I just thought she was so sweet looking so I had to get her and um, yeah she's got the sunglasses I'm just gonna leave them though they're they're attached to her hair and then you can untie her little sweater and then she has a one shoulder uh, dress and it is a, a solid one piece so there's definitely some mix and match ability here I love how tiny they are they're just they're so small and it makes me so happy <laughs> she has the pink and gold which could really go with either of the other two girls as well her outfit I wasn't too keen on her initially because her outfit is just so mix and match like just completely not coordinating and for whatever reason I just feel like I really like coordinating outfits <laughs> But if I get all of them, then I can kind of mix and match. So they all come with earrings and also a hair piece or necklace. So like you can see here, whoops, okay. Um, Dream Ella comes with sunglasses, but no necklace. And then she has the earrings. And then Aria comes with the earrings, the necklace and a hair clip, which is really fun. And a purse, which fell. And then we have Yasmin with the earrings and the necklace and just super cute hair. I love her hair. Let's try out the wings. So here are the three wings. What started it all on getting these and one of my thoughts were, of course, using it as a template, but um, I thought I could, you know, glue them all together to kind of reinforce it like a really solid wing set. And then I would cover them in fabric for my pull up or not pull up my Blythe collab I'm doing. So I have Autumn here. Hello. And she's giant. Like <laughs> in comparison, she's a giant doll in comparison, but they don't need huge wings. So I wanted to see, yeah, look at that. That's kind of a good size for a Blythe. And then it's nice and sturdy for the frame. Let's see how it looks from the back. If I had it kind of up. Perfect. Yeah, that might work really well. I don't know why, but with my collab, I've been really struggling with the wings. I have lots of different things for the wings, but these I saw and was like, that's a really great place to start. And I don't think these girls are going to mind. I mean, they look really cute on them too, but I don't know if they'll mind if I borrow them. All right. All right. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.